All right, all right, all right. Triple M. Been having some technical difficulties, but that's okay. Which is surprising because nobody ever has any technical difficulties. So we're going to do some rocking and rolling. Hopefully you've got some space on the floor. This is a few moves that we've done before. Got some really good response from them. So we're going to give it a try. So let's get down on the floor. We're going to push up onto our sits bone. Transfer over, push up onto our sits bone. Okay, so this is how it looks from the side. Push up, straighten the back, sits bone. Push up, straighten the back, sits bone. So we're going to each side. And you really put your hand down and really get that extension. We all sit like this all the time and we wonder why it's hard for us to breathe. This is a good way to get into extension. So push through, feel that through that oblique area, the side trunk between the ribs and the hip. Good, why don't we start pushing air out. Let's get one more set. Good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same movement, except we're going to rock up onto our shin. So we'll point the toe, rock up onto our shin. So we'll start here, come up, come down, switch over to the other side. Good. And yes, that pop you heard was my knee. Hermione? No, my knee. All right, let's get one more set to each side. Good. Feel pretty good so far. I feel okay. I'm not gonna say A number one rock and roll ready, but we're gonna do our best. So this time we're gonna go figure four side to side, not figure four, uh, 90 90 side to side, rolling up onto the shin. So we'll start off here 90 90, roll onto the shin, one. Turn, two, turn, let's do one more, three, turn. All right, let's go to the other side. Ah, we'll see. Ready? One, turn. Two, turn, three, turn. Okay. All right. Legs out to the front, nice and wide. Point the knee at the heel. Point the knee at the heel. One more set. Good. Let's go ahead and get just a couple of these in. Cross the leg over, reach through, lay down flat. All right, if you're in this position and there's no issue, then roll, put the foot on the floor, use the elbow, see how I'm using the elbow to pull, push myself up. All right, roll back to the other side, okay? Here, 
Couple breaths. Roll. Use the elbow, push yourself up to the other side, okay? Now from here, we're gonna do some of the happy baby stirs. All right, so we're gonna take our hands. I like grabbing the outside of my feet. You can hook your toes, whatever's the most comfortable for you. I'm gonna go ahead and take my alien goggles off. All right. Well, I need this. Oh. Okay, try to get the back as flat as possible. And let's just do some rocking back and forth. Walking on the ceiling. Easing into this. Happy baby sirs. The, the guy that trained us in Primal Blue, he's, I can't remember, somewhere in Europe. And some of the stuff he would say. Happy, happy, but he would say, happy, happy baby sirs. We'd do that, happy baby sirs. It always remind me of Tim Conway. Okay, got that. Now let's push up and through and then bring the knees down. Up and through, knees down. Try not to strain the neck. All right, our first rocks are gonna be forward rocks. So let's just go from the butter butterfly. Please don't roll and strain your neck. You, have to, you can't tense your neck up. Just go whatever's comfortable and uh, just do your best, all right? So we'll come up. So this will be number two. <laughs> and one more. And remember, you're breathing out when you're, when you're taking your feet to try to touch the ground. You gotta go, <sighs> if you hold your breath, it's like pushing against a full balloon. All right, let's do a third one. <sighs> okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same roll, except we're gonna let the right leg straighten on one side, come back up, left leg straighten on one side. So we'll go back, keep the left leg tucked, right leg, roll up, wee. Now we're gonna go left leg, left leg reaches. Good. All right, let's do one more set of those. Right leg, left leg. Now some of you are probably having trouble because you're not strong enough or you're not engaging your core enough to get this hollow. This has to be hollow. And the way it's hollow is that the core is engaged. All right, so now we'll do both legs straight and both legs in extension, okay? So here we go. Straight and straight and straight and Straight. Good. Roll all the way up. Good. All right. Hopefully everything's feeling all right in your neck and upper shoulders. Okay. Now we're going to go with some side stuff. All right. All right. All right. Back. Okay. Here we go. We're going to take the right foot. We're going to roll over. Touch the right foot to the ground. Roll over. Touch the left. It's amazing how much room that you have to have for this. Hopefully you have enough. Right, left, right, left. Let's go two more. Right, left, right, left. Good. Couple deep breaths. <coughs> Now we're gonna go up to that seated position. So we're, watch me do one so you can kinda, of, you might not have done this earlier or you might not remember how to do it. So I'm just gonna take my right leg, I'm going to come up, push against, uh, you see I pushed my left arm against my left leg to push up into a seated position. I'm gonna roll back down, roll to the other side, 
and do the same thing. Roll down. Good, I'm not really reaching with my leg. Do whatever you have to. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to teach <clears throat> when Adrian taught me this. She said, you just have to feel when you're rolling and getting the momentum, you gotta have a little bit of momentum. You just have to feel the tension and the relaxation of the synopsis firing. So let's do one more. There. All right. Now you know we're gonna try. We're gonna try our circle. So make sure you got enough room that you're not gonna roll into anything. Here we go. All right, now if you're not dizzy or feeling sick and your heart rate's not up through the roof, let's try to go the other direction. Let's make one more trip. And I'm gonna come back around to the camera. Good. Couple deep breaths. Hopefully that wasn't too rough on you. Real good movement exercise. Anything that's down on the floor, um, it's just good for you. Uh, one of my clients is talking to her about just play. Kids, they their neural stimulation comes from just playing. And we don't play anymore, that's for sure. Okay, so now we're gonna do some hip openers from a tabletop, but before we do that, let's do some uh, switch press. Let me remember, Steve Maxwell is just a wonderful thing, all right? Go into your 90-90 and come up and through. Switch, come up and through. Good. All right, let's get into our tabletop position. Nice and tall. Let's keep the toes tucked under, hands under shoulders, hopefully knees are under hips. Right arm extends, left leg extends. Instead of pointing the toe, push through the heel. Okay, so we're pushing through the heel of our hand, push it through the heel of our feet, foot, our foot, instead of pointing our toe and fingers. So ready? One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, one more set, five, and five, good. Now, point the toes. We're gonna to go into our cat-cow. Cat-cow. Try to push the chin into the chest. Remember, I can't because of the microphone, but you can. Cat-cow. Don't forget to breathe. I'm trying to cut down on my breathing so I don't sound like a slee stack on the video. Let's do three more. Not, it's not that I'm not breathing, I'm just not breathing as forcefully as I usually do. Good. Okay, now let's do a rotation. When I think about this, just think that you've got a um, ball on a string hanging from your belly button and that you wanna to touch the floor and then you wanna pull it up from the floor, touch the floor and you're making a rotation. You can bend your arms, I just don't want you to bend your arms too much. I try to keep from bending my arms and I try to make the rotation. 
come from my hips and my spine. Two more. One more. Good. Now we're going the other direction. Good. All right. Let's head down onto the ground. Just going to do a few Supermans here. We're going to start off right, left, just like we did with the bird dogs. So a little spread of the legs, spread of the arms. Don't strain the neck. I usually keep my head down. A lot of people, you see them, they'll, they'll throw their head up. I keep my head down, but I don't try to push my chin into the, the mat when I do. So right hand, left leg, and opposite. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Now, if that felt all right to you, let's do a full Superman for five count. Remember, if it doesn't feel good, something doesn't feel right, don't force it. Ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Drop it down. Take the hands, palms facing down. Hopefully this isn't messing the mic up here. We're going to do some rollovers. So we'll start off just by taking the leg over. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Good. If that felt all right, then we're going to. Okay, that should prepare us to do a few scorpions. Not really good at these. If you're better, I respect you. Okay, now I'm going to take my left leg up. Just reach as far as I can within reason. I'm going to take my right leg up, reach as far as I can within reason. From some reason, I'm always scared of my hamstrings going into a cramp with these. I don't know why. It might be because one time my hamstring went into a cramp with this. I'm a detective. I figure things out. I may not be a smart man, Jenny, but I know what love is. All right. I knew what a cramp was that night. Good. Gonna, woo, time. Let's finish up with a few rocking off the, off the um, elbow, just a few rocking cobras, just to make sure that lower back's okay. All right, good. Hang in there. Hopefully this is helping you. Hopefully you're seeing some light at the end of the tunnel. Hopefully we're on the back side of this. I've gotten some good news waiting on some better news soon and uh, just remember make an appointment with yourself about this stuff make an appointment make it that this is for you this is the time you're going to spend and uh, you just got to keep your body moving hope you're doing well i miss you